Dear students, welcome to the presentation on numbers. In this presentation, we are going to have a look at the fundamental concepts of numbers. Let us now try to define numbers. A number is nothing but a mathematical object used for counting and measuring. They can be divided into a number of sets which are also known as the number system. Numbers are broadly divided into two parts as the real numbers and the complex numbers. The real numbers include in itself the following numbers. So natural numbers, the rational numbers, the irrational numbers and the integers. Now let us draw a Venn diagram to illustrate the different types of numbers that we have learnt. First, let's draw an ellipse representing the set of natural numbers, for example, 0, 1, 2 and so on and so forth. The natural numbers are denoted by the letter N. Then we draw another ellipse including the natural numbers to illustrate the integers denoted by the letter Z. The portion common to the natural numbers and integers consist of the positive integers like 0, 1, 2 and the portion which is outside the natural numbers consist of the negative integers like minus 1, comma, minus 2, comma, minus 5. Then again, we draw an ellipse including the whole of integers to illustrate the rational numbers denoted by the letter Q. The portion consisting of the integers represent the whole numbers like minus 1, comma, 3, comma, 0. The portion outside the integers represent the fractions, the recurring decimals and square root of square, for example, square root of 4. They can be represented in the form of P divided by Q where P and Q are integers and Q is not equal to 0. Lastly, we draw another ellipse including the rational numbers to represent the real numbers. The portion consisting of rational numbers represent the numbers which can be represented in the form of P divided by Q where P and Q are integers and Q is not equal to zero. The portion outside the rational numbers represent the irrational numbers which cannot be expressed in the form of P divided by Q, for example, square root of 2, pi and exponential E, denoted by the letter R. Thus, Natural number is a subset of integers which in turn is a subset of rational numbers which in turn is a subset of real numbers. Thus, real numbers include all natural numbers, integers, rational numbers and irrational numbers. Let us now consider a tree diagram to further understand 
द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ नंबर्स लेट एस कंसिडर रियल नंबर्स रियल नंबर्स आर डिवाइडेड इंटू टू कैटेगरीज नेमली रैशनल नंबर्स एंड इैशनल नंबर्स रैशनल नंबर्स आर रिटर्न इन द फॉर्म पी डिवाइडेड बाई क्यू वेर पी एंड क्यू आर इंटीजर्स एंड क्यू इज नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो इैशनल नंबर्स आर दोज नंबर्स विच कैन नॉट बी रिटर्न in the form p by q for example pi square root of 2 and exponential e rational numbers are then further divided into integers and fractions integers include the number like Minus three, minus two, minus one, zero, one, two, three, and so on, so forth. Fractions include non-integers like two point five. Integers are further divided into two categories. whole numbers and negative integers whole numbers include numbers like 0 1 2 3 and so on so forth negative integers are integers with a negative sign like minus 3 comma minus 2 comma minus 1 whole numbers are further divided into two categories namely natural numbers and zero natural numbers include all whole numbers except zero for example 1 2 3 and so on so forth fractions are of three types they are proper fractions mixed fractions and improper fractions let us apply some of the concepts we have already learnt we already know that recurring decimals are rational numbers that is they can be expressed in the form p divided by q let us see how can we do that express 0.00323 with a recurring sign above 4 5 as a fraction let x be equal to 0.003245 with a recurring sign above 4 5 x can also be written as x equal to 0.00324545454545 and so on and so forth because there is a recurring sign above 45 let this equation be known as equation 1 multiplying by 10000 we get 10000x equal to 
फोर फाइव फोर फाइव फोर फाइव लेट दिस बी इक्वेशन टू सब्ट्रैक्टिंग इक्वेशन वन फ्रॉम इक्वेशन टू वी गेट नाइन 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 एक्स इक्वल टू थ्री टू पॉइंट फोर फाइव वन थ्री देफोर x is equal to 324513 divided by 9999000 which is nothing but a rational number in the form p by q hence all recurring decimals are rational numbers and can be expressed as a fraction p divided by q where p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0